Hey there, it's the Gig Harbor Drone Guy. Today it's a shootout between the Xeno 1 and the Xeno 2 landing pad challenge. We're going to launch these drones five times each to see which one can hit the landing pad more often. Refresh to the return point. Please mind the return position. Okay, the rules are pretty simple. In order to have a successful landing, two things must occur. Number one, you must have target acquisition. And number two, at least two of the landing gears must touch the map. So for the first try, we have landing pad acquisition at least once. And we have a successful landing. Refresh to the return point. Please mind the return position. For each subsequent flight, we head out in a different direction and a different altitude before pressing the return to home button. And as you can see, we've sped things up quite a bit in order to save a little bit of time. Oh, looked promising. We had uh, landing pad acquisition, but we landed off Refresh the pad. The return point. One one. Please mind the return position. Okay, we've got a winner. We have another winner. It's two to one. Refresh to the return point. Please mind the return position. Looks like we need a ruling from the judge. No, no, it had missed the landing pad. A fail. Refresh to the return point. Please mind the return position.
Okay, the pressure's mounting. Can the Xeno one do better than 50%? It's two to two. The pressure builds. Nails it, nails it. The Xeno one nails it. All right, that's it for the Xeno one. Three successful landings, two failures. Now it's time to switch to the Xeno two. Can it do any better? So initially, it looked like the quality of the recorded FPV was pretty darn good. But take a look at the pixelation. Can't explain that. And our first failure. Refresh to the return point. Please mind the return position. So as you can see, this attempt was not even close. Almost had to take over manually, but as you can see, the weeds there are pretty uh, low cut, so didn't have to worry. All right, Refresh number three. The return point. Please mind the return position. No landing pad acquisition, another failure for the Xeno 2. Refresh to the return point. Please mind the return position. Once again, no parking apron found. Houston, we have a problem. Refresh to the return point. Please mind the return position. Once again, another failure. No target acquisition. Refresh to the return point. Please mind the return position. So the auto land landing pad feature in both the Xeno 1 and Xeno 2 is in beta. And in engineer speak, that just means we don't know how to fix it. Even though we got two of the legs on the landing pad, we had no target acquisition. So the final results, we have the Xeno 1 with three successful landings, the Xeno 2 with none. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.